Now, yeah. since I mentioned Andre the Giant, I always love to get everybody's opinion and stories of Andre the Giant. And the usual question I ask is the first time you met him and how just taken aback were you when you saw him for the first time? I was so taken back. Like, you wouldn't see this cup in his hand. But I became very good friends with Andre. I used to get Andre girls. Mm. And he, he was such a wonderful guy. He did the nicest thing I think a guy could ever do. I, I have a picture at home, one of the few wrestling memorabilia pictures I have. Of. My, my brother sitting in his left hand, me sitting in his right hand, and him holding us like we're two babies. We, my brother and I took Andre to an Italian restaurant in East Boston, which is the Italian section of Boston. And my brother was just gawking at him all the time. And he was, we started talking about my nephews. They lived, not, my brother lived 90 miles outside of Boston, New Hampshire. And he was saying, I don't know what the boys are going to do. They got show and tell tomorrow. I don't know what they're going to do. Andre said, I'll go. Andre had a day off. He went up and show and tell. Those kids were over for 20 years in that town. Yeah, and he was James. I'm, I mean, I'm sure everybody tells you how big he was, but when you couldn't see the beer in his hand, or you put your hand and it disappeared. And when I met him, he wasn't in pain, so he was much more mellow. And then as the years went by, the pain and the body breaking down. I felt very bad for him because he was a very nice, very nice man. Uh, and of course, the other question that I'm sure everybody asks, but the most he ever drank in one sitting uh, that you were present for, at least. Well, I was talking to Bill Alfonso last night. But Alfonso was one of the rarest referees of all times before he became the manager. So, I, like I said, Andre and I were friends. And I was going to wrestle Andre in uh, Orlando on a Sunday night. So I used to get Andre a bottle of Crown Royal. So Billy came over. He said, this is what we're going to do. Uh, this is what Andre wants to do. I said, okay, whatever he wants. So I said, Billy, take this back to the boss. He said, are you sure? I said, yeah, take it back. So... He goes back and halfway through the show, Billy comes back in the dress room at the mission. I said, why did you question me? You know I was going to. He said, yeah, but he had two on the way here. I said, what? Man, he came out of there and the deal used to be I would go first and then he would come down and I'd jump on him and rat that tat and then he'd post me and then knock me and I'd go on my knees. He'd step on the ropes and we'd go home. Came down, he had a buzz on and he threw a chair, a metal chair, like a discus. And I was, before he was doing it, he was fooling around with me, making me he's going to throw a chair. I was dancing around like this. And when he threw it, I ducked. I was in the ring, and it went right over me because I ducked and hit the metal, you know, post, the top of it, and it went up in the air. And somebody caught it had him sign it later <laughs> but, oh he was he was a specimen i know uh, mike graham told this story once quite a few years ago he said and obviously everyone knows how strong or has an idea of how strong andre was he said or he claimed at the time he was like 220 pounds and it was a battle royal and andre picked him up by one leg with one arm and just dumped and just and just let him go just over the top rope with one arm did you ever feel like the strength of andre in in uh, that sense Oh, like uh, his hands, you know, that, as I said, he had fingers like a Polish sausage. And during the matches when I worked with him, you know, I worked a lot with him. And I didn't realize how many times I did work with him until I looked at a rundown of the years in Florida. Him and Dusty against me and Buzz was pretty uh, common for a while. But when me and Buzz would be working, we both would jump him 
push him in the corner and he flipped me and then he flipped Buzz and then I come back. And one night he put his hands on my face. It was like my head disappeared. He shoved me and I couldn't have stopped if I had a harness on it. It was hooked to me. I went ass over T. Kettle, went out of the ring. He was so strong, you know. If he, I always thought, could you imagine if he had trained a little, mm -hmm. hit the weights a little? Could have been incredible. 